I'm so curious how this all is gonna end. The loading time can be a bit long. Hmm. We buy golden. It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. <laughs> Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. <laughs> I don't want your phone number. Ugh, really? What? Bigby's here. Oh. Why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just... Follow the rules. Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again, like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, all right? And anyway, so I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'll be covering mm -hmm. a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was base coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sited statute of finders keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I, I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. You know, maybe Snow can help you out. How could Snow help me out? Give you an advance. A loan or something. She's kind of in, <laughs> in charge, charge of the business office now. Well, the last guy who was in charge didn't help us much. So forgive me if I don't expect anything <laughs> different now. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not going to take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loads. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Hog Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running in? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? I know who you're talking about. Um, Hog Frey? The crooked man, right? This is his place. Those are his loans. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. <laughs> Fuck off. Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Look, I'll... I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly <laughs> seek to protect us from. Either In the beginning, Todd was like a friend of mine, but now he's always just a jerk. Drop by any time. We're nothing like him. He really grows on you. His face. Look, I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's something stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. Last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that yep. axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? Because I don't know anything about it. Yeah, it's why I came down here. It'll lead me right to the crooked man if I can track it. He's been sending people to kill me. And I'd like yeah. to have a little chat about that. Was the axe here? Bullshit. No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe. And that's saying something. Since, you know, I can sometimes miss the obvious. I'm just joking. I never miss anything. You wouldn't mind if I look around for a bit, then. 
And what if I did mind? Uh, got it. It froze again. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? Hmm. It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run it on hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in, so what? Uh, I still yep. think you're hiding something, Jack. Maybe the axe is back here. It's not. It was bad enough in the woodsman's hands. If it's not here, I need to track down that psycho who had it last. It's not here. You better hope not. Can't you Shut just... up, Jack. The Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions. It also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. <laughs> I won't. Daggers. I think that's a dagger. That, yeah. This is Prince Lawrence's yep. dagger. Who sold this? I don't know. Look, are you almost done? A dagger isn't exactly the axe, so uh, who cares, really? Who would have done that? One of the Tweedles? Whoever did it must have needed the money back, which should come as a total shock. You don't know how hard most of us have it, do you? No, I know how it is. It was a rhetorical question, but sure, fine. Statue. The Headless Horseman. Isn't this Crane's? Maybe, I don't know. The cup. I didn't talk about the cup. You'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? You're a lying piece of shit, Jack. Oh, okay, come on, Migby. That wasn't. The axe was right here all along. Now tell me what happened to it. Bullshit. I don't know anything about that. Hey. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so. Uh, and even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Just tell me the truth. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Sometimes it's for her. You know where she lives? Where she took it? I don't know where that crazy chick lives. And I don't want to know. Well, for your sake, you better yeah. think of something to tell me. Bullshit. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... That's my fucking system. But you... you're the guy who makes sure I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your axe so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grinch said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. It's Jersey, right? Jersey Devil? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Bigby? What is his axe even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? And you, I can't believe you yeah. didn't show your face in here. After what you did to our guy, Tweedledum. So tell me what you're here for, or get the fuck out. Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. You work with the crooked man. Until I give you permission, you're not gonna yeah, do anything prick. but answer my questions. Hmm. 
How's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Big Beast joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers, and Big Beast handed him over, just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know, tell me everything you I'm not gonna punch right him, I'm not gonna lower the myself like that. And the crooked man. It froze again? Really? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you <laughs> bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> You piece of shit! Oh. 